find Saturn transit will signal the right time to propose or marry. To make accurate judgments, crystal for this week helps remove blockages to receiving. Hi everyone, I'm Alia with Esther with Alia.com here with your weekly Esther forecast for August the 23rd till August the 29th of 2021. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already part of my Esther tribe, welcome back. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you again. Now, at the end of this video, I have information on crystal that you can use in your meditation um, for this week's planetary energies that are coming our way. So do stick around until the end if you are interested in finding that out. So we are just coming out of the very powerful and liberating second full moon in Aquarius. Um, how did it go for you guys? Um, Hope you were able to, you know, do your meditation with the uh, marcasite that we talked about as a crystal for last week. If you haven't, you can actually check that out in my last week's video. This is a very, very important time in our lives and we want to really relieve ourselves of all old and stagnant energy that is preventing us from moving forward and working with the right crystal during these, you know, th these times or during your meditation will really help you uh, to have the clarity, you know, and the courage to leap forward. So with that said, let's get into this week's forecast. On Monday, August the 23rd, Venus is going to trine Saturn. Now, Venus trine Saturn transit is ideal for committing to a relationship and making long-term investments all relationship can benefit from you know your sensible approach and steady affections um, new love found now could be uh, with someone from a different age group and would likely be a long lasting relationship you know sort of like soulmate uh, kind of a union you'll feel very secure in our relationship existing relationship will enjoy closer bonding and stability if a relationship has been stressful lately you know then this is a good chance to work through the problems and find a solution so it's a really great energy there will be a feeling of mutual respect and an eye to practical outcomes and you're also able to control your emotions quite easily with this energy while you may not be you know feeling outlandish uh, this is a good time for more formal social engagements where grace and respect for tradition are called for right because saturn is all about that creative work can result in increased productivity but not so much with you know too many new styles as form and structures are more important than freestyle right saturn now. Is conservative by nature and loves more classic styles so if you're shopping for party needs fashion cosmetic jewelry and art you will probably benefit from having an eye out for some bargains you know some fabulous bargains. now if you have any longer term transits that are supportive you will be able to make accurate judgments as this transit will signal the right time to propose or marry right or it or to invest in property or stock so this is a really great time business deals are also favored so long as they are of low risk your partner may also help you may you know materialize your plans as well with this energy so it's a really really fabulous energy enjoy it on tuesday august 24th mercury is in opposition with neptune now Mercury opposite Neptune transit brings mental confusion and the potential for relationship problems due to misinformation, miscommunication. Your perception of reality is it's clouded at this time due to an inability to filter out the background noise or, or useless information, right? foggy thinking, confusing information. It's so possible right now. Misinformation, promising and not delivering, gossips, confusion in travel plans are also possible. This time you may be hearing and seeing the truth, but also a lot of rubbish. And it is yeah. possible to really tell the difference. You know, this is a bad time for making any important decisions, making plans or, you know, doing any uh, detailed 
mental work is just not a right time for that. Business deals should be avoided and put off, um, you know, signing contracts for later time if you can. Um, if not, then make sure you get the advice of, you know, a, a professional in, in the field or someone you really, really trust. Now, mistakes at work, you know, with information, documents, uh, negotiations, business managements are very, very likely under this energy uh, as well. Personal relationships are um, also subject to this uh, confusion and it would be better to really avoid deep and meaningful conversation at this time uh, with your partner, right? If dating, you are more susceptible to being taken advantage of or deceived in, in some way uh, because it is a very deceptive energy. Things that are good to do under this mystical um, influence, you know, includes creative hobbies and interests, photography, images, um, and advertising, poetry, arts, um, literature, inspirational writing or speaking, you know, touching the heart of others through communication and influencing others through subtle emotionally you know infused or psychological um, approaches it's a fabulous time for that so use this energy for for that rather than the shadow side anything imaginative or dreamy is good um, you know like watching a, a romance or a sci-fi movie dancing and singing right uh, do not though uh, take dreams or visions too seriously and please do take a break if your work relies on your intuition or psychic ability communicating on sentimental or emotional subjects healing with words or walk in nature or near water can be very very therapeutic so this is a very fabulous time for that but do stay away from the shadow side on Thursday August 26 Mercury is in trine with Pluto this is a good transit uh, a really great transit for for deep communication and mental insights uh, into secrets, hidden uh, or you know fi forbidden or psychological matters. So this really makes it a very very a good time for research um, and any type of investigation. Now Mercury trine Pluto transit is ideal for asking for uh, you know favors and talking people into things. Right, uh, your brain is very very powerful under this influence and it gives the power of you know penetration um, at the mental level um, this could be applied to sales uh, sales work right uh, debating uh, bargaining or negotiating favorable deals in business or major purchases like house uh, or cars you know so it's quite favorable for all business commercials and um, uh, financial activities or negotiations, especially uh, such regarding mutual shared resources, others' resources, right? Uh, this can also be very supportive energy for travel. Now, just as you can have a profound influence on others, you may meet someone who deeply affects you through some idea, you know, plan, or uh, or it could be uh, the, the beginning of a karmic friendship or uh, successful partnership. Uh, socializing for the sake of it, you know, of it may not be appealing as a serious discussion at this time. Now, with the Platonian energy, gains can be made if you are on the wrong side of the law. Um, your understanding and perception will be deep, um, you know, when it comes to the uh, the underworld, such as drug and, uh, and you know, drugs and, and crime. But the ability to deeply understand things is probably best uh, applied to research and investigation, uncovering secrets um, and psychological self-analysis. If you are, um, a, you know, an astrology student, this is a good time to understand astrology at a deeper level. Any obsessive tendencies you have can be applied to discovery and research where blocking out background noise is an asset. Now, this would be a good time to consult a, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, to get a more psychic reading if you wanted to, you know, if you were interested in getting a psychic reading or past life regression, dream recall, or, you know, uh, telepathy. This is a fabulous time for that. So that's really uh, all for this week. Uh, we don't have a lot of energy playing out, but we do have some really important energies playing out that we can have fun with and just be aware of some of the energy 
energies, especially with Neptune, you know, uh, the fogginess and the deception. Now, you know, I always say that when we are aware and the energies are coming about, at least we, you know, we have in back of our head that, okay, if someone was to, you know, play games with us or, or, or we see someone being deceiving, uh, we at least know, to be aware, you know, that uh, this is the energy that's playing out. So we want to be safe uh, and we want to be aware so we just want to stay away from that shadow side so you know but other than that it's a really good energy and uh, the week is pretty nice uh, so enjoy the week so let's talk about the crystal for this week I intuitively felt to share uh, this crystal with you it's called peridot with so much changes that you know we are in the midst of now especially with the last week's energy of the very full you know uh, powerful full moon a liberating full moon and creative full moon in aquarius um and all of the uh, retrograde planets that we have right now um you know of which the energy is still uh with us right and will be with us for the next few weeks and even a few few months to come so of course this is a very very uh, crucial time to manifest our vision for our respective future um, of the change right that we must bring uh, into our lives individually and collectively now the change is here whether we we are ready or not right whether we like it or not so I feel taking some time out now and really envisioning our new spiritual path our new future and living our truth is absolutely imperative is so important right now guys and and connecting with mother earth by using powerful and beautiful energy of crystals is in your in your meditation or for manifestation is it's it's the way to go really paradox helps remove blockages to receiving many spiritual people are a adapt at giving you know their love their time and, and and energy but may not be so good at receiving uh, blockages are often located at the back of the chakras and exist as clouds within the emotional body uh, paradox can assist in uh, dissipating these blockages and teaching one to receive with grace and gratitude so it's such a beautiful beautiful crystal. Now, Paradot is also a very powerful generator of the frequency of, you know, increase. Um, it can be used to manifest the increase of wealth, increase of health, and uh, increase of joy and emotional well-being. Now, this stone allows you to gently expand your ability to receive from the universe, accepting your birthright of complete abundance on all levels of life, uh, more than a financial prosperity stone. This allies aids in um, increasing one's ability to receive on all levels. Um, in the process, uh, it may you know, reveal the areas where self-worth issues have not uh, allowed one to receive in the past. So this is a fabulous stone. If you have, you know, past, you know, issues or self-worth issues, this is a great stone. Paradox is an elven stone carrying the frequency of interdimensional earth beings uh, who share this planet with the human race, right? It can be used to contact with fairy and devic realms and to communicate and uh, you know with nature spirits of all types um, paradox is an excellent stone for earth healers as its energy uh, attunes one to uh, subtle realms of nature so it's a gorgeous stone definitely hone into it i've got my peridot on today i don't know if you guys can see it but it's really really beautiful and it's quite powerful i just started wearing this a couple weeks ago so I, I absolutely love it so that wraps up for this week's forecast thank you so much for watching i'm wishing you a fabulous week if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel like the video by giving it a thumbs up and share it with like-minded people and please don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram uh, for daily you know updates and astro mantras and energies and so much more I tend to post uh, almost every day so do do keep an eye on that and as always remember to smile and know that you're absolutely beautiful take care I will see you next week bye for now